Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to decode the latest updates on TCS NQT 2025 interview results, offer letters and surprising pattern of result declaration within colleges. So if you are also confused about document verification emails, tech my application status or upgradation results, this video will clear all your doubts. Make sure to watch it till end. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful hiring updates as well as off campus drives on my channel on daily basis. So guys, let's see the first uh, thing what we are going to look into this. First of all, we are going to talk about what we are going to discuss in this video. So we are going to discuss document verification and offer letter timeline, then track my application and role confirmation details, then phase by result declaration pattern and then upgradation offer letters from TCS. Then at the end, I will also be uh, touching upon some myths, misconceptions and final words, okay, because I know whenever you guys are waiting for some, you know, uh, hiring updates, there is a lot of myths and misconceptions that are there in the market. So it is also important to clear them up. So first of all, let's understand the document verification and offer letter timelines. Okay. First of all, on 14th of July, candidates from Kolkata received their document verification emails. Okay. I have also updated this in my previous videos. I am regularly updating whenever there is a new update from TCS on my channel. Okay. So on the same day, they also received their TCS offer letters also guys. Now offer letters are being issued along with or shortly after document emails. We have seen this previously also that initially what's this time, what is happening is initially you will get a document uh, email and then maybe like 24 hours later or one or two days later, you will get your offer letters. So this is what the pattern that we have seen. But uh, you do not have to consider that this is only the official pattern okay uh, there can be chances if someone has received a document verification email then they might have not received the offer letters also till now so guys confirmation is candidate shared screenshots or chats showing that offer is received okay so from that we got to know that the candidates have started receiving the offer letters now talking about track my application and role confirmation so guys if in, in your track in, in your tcs next step portal if you go uh, track my application becomes visible okay after the selection and status will be showing as offer letter received okay so with this uh, you can confirm that you have received your offer letter now role offer matches interview profile example interviewed for ninja then you will receive the ninja role okay confirmation uh, this basically confirms that tracking visibility is part of selection journey now again uh, it goes the same for other two roles also prime and that another one so if you have interviewed for that role you will receive that particular role and in my previous video i have also discussed one of the things that uh, some of the candidates who appear for a higher role but because of lower performance they got a uh, lower role okay so this has also happened but in very few cases now talking about phase wise declaration pattern okay result declaration pattern first of all results are being declared in phases with this within the same college example is out of 300 students only three to four received the offer letters initially and then college tpos like uh, college colleges where tpo sends the selection list uh, in that case the communication is faster okay like students get to know quickly that okay we have been selected because tpos get the list in one go okay and can colleges that don't send the list in their cases we have seen that there is a delayed or phased offer emails okay like f initially few of the candidates will get and then in the next phase few of candidates uh, gets more updates in this way so suggests tcs has introduced a new internal rollout strategy okay like uh, in case of uh, you know uh, phase wise we can say phase wise results are now getting declared by tcs also that is now what uh, what it means now talking about upgradation offers letters from tcs okay so basically this was the you know uh, revised offer letter candidates have received let me quickly read it out to you then we will be talking on these points congratulations you have received revision in offer we are pleased to share the tcs offer letter with you you are required to access and accept your offer letter online using your next step campus portal login credentials and there are the instructions that are given okay usually how it is always given so what is this now so con some candidates are now receiving tcs revised offer letter emails these are the candidates who appear for TCS upgradation exams. Example is uh, selected earlier for Ninja and now upgraded to digital. So guys, for all the newly joined candidates who are not aware, uh, you know, and who are kind of losing hope that, you know, we have got a very low package Ninja one and all. So guys, always remember TCS internally also provides you upgradation examinations, okay? Uh, giving which you can upgrade your offers to Ninja to digital. I have already posted a lot of videos on that also on my channel previously. Like how can you register for that? What you need to prepare for that and all? And uh, yeah, so that is the procedure basically. And main subject for this revised offer letter will be uh, 
TCS revised offer letter from TCST. Okay, and uh, very limited candidates have received this till now. But yeah, this was also one of the updates. So I thought it let me cover this also in this single video itself. Now let's talk about some of the myths, misconceptions, and final words from my end. First thing is guys. Don't assume your selection just from TACMA application or portal status. Okay, that is the first thing. Seeing candidate registered only, then this could indicate rejection, but no guarantee. Okay, see when you should consider this as a rejection. Previously, you already moved to one step higher. Okay, after candidate rejection, uh, sorry, candidate registered. Like you know, uh, there are different statuses, right? And if you have already reached out till. uh badge status or some other status and it rolled back to candidate registered then it could mean in, uh, you know candidate has uh, got rejected but if your uh, if your status is always candidate registered from starting that does not mean that uh, you are you like you know rejected or something okay do not believe unofficial sources of false groups rumors and valid indicators of selections what are those as i already discussed first is your document verification email then you will receive the offer letter and uh, if you are Like if your college is sending the details, then official TPO list with name plus role in that role also will be mentioned. So wait patiently for the upcoming phases. More results are on the way, okay? And definitely TCS is going to release more results in the upcoming time and the upcoming weeks. I will be updating it on my channel regularly. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. So guys, I have tried to cover almost everything that was possible in this video. Uh, if you have any more doubts, like please let me know in the comment section. And guys, please also do let me know where you are standing in the. current hiring process okay uh, have you already received your offer letter or are you waiting for your offer letters or are you on some other step please do comment that also and make sure that you join me on telegram and follow me on instagram as well make sure that you are subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important notification going forward from the channel that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time